uh, vouchers. Someone asked if they're going to be needed uh, to buy packs in the future. Um, and Agro said, like, uh, yeah, he didn't say exactly how, but he said nod, nod, wink, wink, meaning like they're, they're going to be they're going to be needed for the uh, packs. I didn't ex exactly know what he meant by that, but it definitely it, it, they're going to be needed on some level. I think it's going to be about the same and they just don't want to take the focus off the pre-sale. Um, and I don't know if so many people are thinking that they're going to go away, that it's prices are down because of it, or if it's not effective anything at all. Um, but uh, the calculations I just did roughly before um, the stream was that a, a voucher pack is worth about $23 or $20 uh, after you buy the pack. Um, cause it, well, or $19 after you buy the pack, because uh, if you buy 2000 you get 400 free. So at that at that price, they only cost. And if you pay 10 uh, SPS, you get 10 percent off. So if you do all that, they actually the each voucher only costs you three dollars per pack. Um, but even at four dollars a pack, after you buy a pack with a voucher, all of the airdrops and airdrop points for SPS and for the cards and then the, va the estimated value of the cards uh, came out to 19 dollars after paying the three dollars so twenty two dollars but you know you have to pay three so um so every basically every air dropped voucher you get is worth 20 bucks and that's that's like a hard number where it's almost definitely not worth less than that and that's at with sps at 60 cents if sps goes up at all which i'd be surprised if it didn't um the, the value goes up very quickly. So I think, you know, by the, I, my guess is by the end of pre-sale, you're gonna see vouchers going for 35 bucks.